uh, that we're actually, so, so our, the current bucket truck we have will no longer pass inspection. It's totally rotted out. It, it, there's no, no sense in putting any money into it. Um, so we've been borrowing, actually the uh, waste treatment plant has a hand-me-down from the fire department. Um, and more recently they've wanted that back. So it's, we've been begging for a bucket truck for a while. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Unfinished business, we have none. Tabled in committee, there isn't anything. New business, ordinances, and resolutions, there are not any. I think there's a. Yeah, there's a. Video. Something oh, received after the agenda. Yeah, we have this without objection. So yes, I'm sorry. We haven't. We have a, an extra communication. So, um, if there's no objection, we will accept a communication from uh, John, from Amy Gerard, purchasing manager, uh, and take that up. Next. I, I believe. We're gonna take it up next. Right, and I believe everyone has this on their desk. Uh, Alderwoman Clee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. From Amy Gerard, Purchasing Manager, in regards to a fire alarm upgrade project in the amount of $93,500 funded from 81700 Infrastructure Improvement slash Fire Alarm Upgrade. Mr. Mayor, a motion to approve the award of design phase services for the fire alarm upgrade project to Vertex Companies LLC from Sisset, New York, in the amount of $93,500. Funding will be through Department 169 Wastewater Fund 81700 Infrastructure Improvement slash Fire Alarm Upgrade. Mr. Boucher. Thank you, Dave Boucher, Wastewater Superintendent. Uh, so the wastewater plant has an aged fire alarm system. Uh, it was installed approximately 30 years ago. Uh, it's been added to over the years. The current system doesn't uh, have addressable capabilities. Change when the fire department shows up, they don't know specifically where in the facility uh, that the problem is. Uh, the fire department has been responding to a lot of false alarms. Uh, recently, over the last couple of years actually, uh, just because of the failures of the current system. Uh, we put it on an RFQ, sent it to various companies, consultants that do this specialty work as far as doing a design phase service uh, for a fire alarm upgrade. Uh, Vertex was the company that we interviewed, uh, checked their references. Uh, they seem qualified, capable of doing this work. Uh, but it would update the, uh, they design the updates for the entire wastewater facility, all of our outbuildings and uh, replace the existing system. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Anybody? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. So now we are thank on, you. Uh, thank you very much. Now unfinished business. None. None. Table and committee. None. New business resolutions and ordinances. There's none. Record of expenditures. Alderwoman Clay. Mr. Mayor, I motion that the Finance Committee has compi complied with the City Charter and ordinance pertaining to the records of expenditures from the period of July 14th, 2023 to July 27th, 2023. Anybody on that? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Motion passes. General discussion. Are there any general discussion items? Public comment. Uh, does any member of the public wish to address the Finance Committee? Lori Ortolano, 41 Berkeley Street. I want to address with the committee um, the fees associated with the new market tax credit that we took on for the Art Center. As you know, I've been involved with litigation on that building over records issues. And recently there was a filing that noted that the reason we did the new market tax credit was because it was so cost effective. It was a way of saving money. And I feel that that could not be more opposite to what had occurred. That new market tax credit to get 2.4 million of financing cost us almost $2 million in fees. Had we bonded that money 2.5 million, 
back in 2020 at a 2% interest rate across 25 years, a bond calculator would put the interest payment at somewhere around $650,000 to $700,000. And that payment, would mo that bond schedule would most likely yield a premium back. If I recall correctly, when John Griffin has come to the meetings, he points out when bonds are sold that the city typically receives a premium back because people look to buy our bonds and we're good, we pay up on our debt. So we get a kick, you know, some money back on that to offset it. The fees for the new market tax credit when we started off, the investment upfront fee was 146000 The investment fund fee was 97000 Baker Tilly, which was a consulting firm tied to this, was 97000 The ongoing CDE fee was 339000 There was a $102,000 loan servicing fee. Compliance fee was 68000 Neil Cannon that we hired initially was 68 k by the city, but we're probably adding another 30 to it because he's doing work right now on FF&E. That'll push 100 k John Kaminsky was hired by us for 55 k in writing, but I think he came in around 65 k The city time for two years for our city staff members, officials like Celia Leonard, Attorney Bolton, um, Tim Cummings, the mayor, Dave Griffin, um, Dave Fredette would have certainly come up with salary and benefits around 150 k We had to insure all of these businesses paid for out of the city insurance. And um, uh, Jen DeShane had to get a quote to cover all the insurance costs for all of these businesses set up. And when we went and did closing to resell the business to the NPAC Corporation, it was $55,000 in closing costs. The structuring and closing costs were $199,000. The estimated new market tax credit legal fees, which were billed by Lanthrum GMP, was $212,000. The fee list, this was a feeding at the trough. And everyone came for the fee grab. And this was a horrible program for such a small amount of money, particularly when the city was outlaying all the money for it. This should have been bonded. It is why I am very opposed to these types of um, intricate and sophisticated um, financing schemes to roll into municipal projects. We're going to end up with over $2 million of costs to get $2.4 million. My kid came to me and said, Mom, I'm buying a car for $35,000. i am taking a seven-year loan, and I'm going to pay sixty. I'd say, don't do it. Don't do it. Go look at that again. You can do way better than that. And that's what we did here. And that was the biggest ripoff you could seconds. have done to us. And I think the city has to be much more mindful, and it starts here with the Finance Committee, to make certain that these sophisticated programs do not come into this city anymore. That new market tax credit was not made for municipal businesses. It's really a private entity. And it was a mistake to employ it, and we paid dearly for it. Thank you. All right, uh, we now have remarks by Alderman. Any Alderman wish to make remarks? Uh, Al Alderman Thibault. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm not on this committee, but I wanted to just mention something that happened this week. Um, we lost a, a long time uh, former National Policeman, retired Paul Wessinger. Uh, I don't know if, if anyone here uh, knew of Paul, but um, he was uh, big in the community also, not only as a policeman, but as part of PAL and uh, he, he was the state commissioner for, for Babe Ruth Baseball, and um, he uh, also worked towards the end of his uh, life at, the, uh, at Nashua South, um, doing different jobs there with the, with the sports department and, and janitorial services. So uh, I got to know him a little bit. Very, uh, uh, a guy I learned a lot from in the baseball world, and uh, you know, as a former Nashua policeman of, I think, about 30 years, um, I just wanted to make sure his passing didn't go unnoticed because he was a big part of the city. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Alderman Thibault. Uh, anyone else? Any other remarks by Alderman? All right. We now have a non-public session. Uh, Alderman Klee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, I motion that the Finance Committee go into non-public session by roll call pursuant to RSA 91-A colon 3 Roman numeral two, 
subsection L, consideration of legal advice provided by legal counsel either in writing or orally to one or more members of the public body, even where legal counsel is not present, and M, consideration of whether to disclose minutes of a non-public session due to a change in circumstances under the paragraph three. However, any vote on, on whether to disclose minutes shall take place in public session. All right, that has to be by roll call. And we need a, yes, and we need a second. Is Sorry. there a second? Alderman Gouveia seconds it. Uh, please call the roll. Sorry. Alderman Gouveia? Yes. Alderwoman at large, Gloria Timmons? Yes. Alderman Patricia Klee? Yes. And Mayor Donches? Yes. We Motion. get four yes. More motion passes, and we shall now go into non-public session. And the videographer, okay, that's come on. Okay, and I have to shut this off too.
All right, so we are we now in public session? Does the uh, videographer know of this? Yes, he does. All right, so now we're in public session. Uh, Alderwoman Klee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. A um, motion at this time that we seal the minutes of the non-public session of August 2nd, 2023. Until such time as the committee determines it's no longer, no, the purpose would no longer be served. What he said. <laughs> All right, you heard that motion. Any discussion? That's a roll call, right? Yes. Uh, please call the roll. Sure. Alderman Gouvet? Yes. Alderwoman Timmons? Yes. Alderman Cleese, yes, and Mayor Donches. Yes. Let me get this down here. Alderwoman Clee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, I motion that the Finance Committee unseal the minutes of the non-public session of October 21st, 2020, Finance Committee meeting with the redactions recommended by the legal department by roll call. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Alderman Gouvet? Yes. Alderwoman Timmons? Yes. Alderman Cleese says yes. And Mayor Donches? Yes. And that's four years. So the vote is to unseal the minutes with that uh, one redaction. And now I believe we're back to We've resolved this whole issue, correct? Yep. All right, Alderwoman Klee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, I motion to adjourn. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes, and the meeting of the Finance Committee is adjourned at 7.47 p.m.